We know physical LEGO Fortnite sets are coming, and we're getting a little bit nervous about it. You may be asking yourself, wait, Daniel Lewa, Methuselah, are LEGO and Fortnite for children? <laughs> Why are two grown men talking about it? Guys, we're here to break down all the stigmas and really prove why LEGO Fortnite could be amazing and some of our skepticisms about the physical theme. What do you think about this, Daniel Lewa? I know you're not a Fortnite expert. This is kind of like the opposite of Monkey Kid for me and you, right? While I'm excited at the prospect of, of a collaboration between two very creative, interesting properties. We are also a little skeptical. Can they pull off such a, a ambitious and much hyped collaboration at this point? Lego Fortnite, it is already a game correct within fortnite there is a survival game where kind of like minecraft where you can go around dig up trees and stuff i don't know guys let us know if you're still playing the lego fortnite game because honestly i got bored of it i'm sorry daniel lewa had a point about you know losing steam with not releasing the physical sets yo could you provide any insight about that i thought it was pretty weird at the initial release of lego fortnite the game that they didn't actually commit any tie-in resources as far as the physical product goes. If I was in Lego shoes, I would have probably wanted to have Lego Fortnite the game out and then immediately have Lego Fortnite minifigs and sets that you can buy and have all of the corporate synergy in the world. But that's not what happened. And it's a little interesting because do they have something up their sleeve? Why did they do that? Are they trying to save some of the hype for the game and have that separate from the hype for the sets and it may be because the sets and figs will not really be related to the lego fortnite mini game experience itself but more tied to the fortnite battle royale yeah and i definitely see your argument like there probably would have been a big burst in sales if they released them at the same time because there was so much hype around the lego fortnite game within fortnite like there was so much hype surrounding it everybody was on that day one and then it fizzled out so but i did provide the counter argument to daniel lewa saying Fortnite's still going to be massive whenever they release the physical sets. Most likely yeah. going to be based more on Battle Royale. It's not going to be physical sets based primarily on the survival Lego game. The one thing that I think Lego Fortnite has really given us that's really awesome are the Legoified skins. And we are showing a bunch here as we talked of a bunch of figures and characters that we think would be really cool to see in Lego physical form, whether it's something that's very iconic or something that would just be something that we've never seen before in the physical Lego space. There's a lot of possibility for that here. Yeah, there are so many Fortnite skins, it's each, and they're so diverse within the for, in, within that pool that it's gonna give you stuff that you haven't seen in Lego minifigure form, which is exciting. Something funny, for example, we actually have a Sun Wukong within Fortnite that isn't Monkey King from Lego Monkey Kid. They, you know, this is an example of a something they probably wouldn't translate into physical form because it's kind of already covered. Daniel Lewa's biggest concern uh, and what he told me today, he was really worried and he was really nervous and he hopped on his cell phone, he texted me. He said, I'm nervous because they've done these Lego Fortnite minifigures so well within game with the amount of detail that they have. He's nervous that they're not going to translate to physical minifigures with that same amount of detail. What team of artists that they had to pay to just translate thousands of skins. It is pretty impressive. What's most impressive, I think, is not necessarily just the quantity, but the fact that they have basically stuck to all of the minifigure design guidelines and stylistic style guide, basically, that LEGO used for their physical product. Because mm. if you look at exactly where along the curve of the arm things are able to be printed, they don't veer from that, where on the head things can be printed, the shaping that's actually realistic for new molds. Everything is very thought out and meticulous. Let's look at Cuddle Team Leader, for example. And this could definitely be one of the first LEGO Fortnite minifigures we get. That's just my hypothesis, is that we're going to get some of these iconic ones first, i.e. Cuddle Team Leader, i.e. Peely, i.e. Jonesy. Let's look at Cuddle Team Leader, for example. We all love Cuddle Team Leader and the massive amount of variations that it has. There's even a Deadpool cuddle team leader. If you look at the legs on this figure, this is like CMF quality minifigure in game. This is like dreams treatment. This is like what they're giving <laughs> yeah. dreams right now. I don't know if the actual physical Lego sets, they're going to include the stitching on the bottom of the foot of this minifigure shoes 
or whatnot and have every detail as the game does. That's what Daniel Leo was saying. Now that we can already see how great of a representation of cuddle team leader in minifigure form, are we going to get the real life minifigure and be like, oh, it could be better. They're literally asking for comparison by doing this because they've set the standard now so crazy high that if they do a cuddle team leader that maybe doesn't have arm printing or side leg printing, whatever, which, you know, would be fine because it already has all the basic aspects of a couple team leader you can see it and it'd be fine but if they don't do those extra touches it's just like well i guess the physical product isn't as good as the digital product so why do we even need the physical product maybe that's a bit of a logical fallacy but am i wrong on that matt well that but it's interesting though because now they're selling digital product within lego fortnite of not just minifigure skins they're selling actual yeah. lego sets within digital lego fortnite you could buy the lion yeah. knight's castle in Lego Fortnite, if you would like. So are they splitting their sales of why buy a physical product in Lego when I could buy the digital one that's more quote unquote detailed and quote unquote fleshed out, even though it's not actually a physical product? I don't know, but I wanna know in the comments like for sure, just like, the, like take Megalodon for example. Would you be disappointed if you're a Fortnite fan, you love this new season, you love Megalodon, would you be sad if we got this minifigure in physical form, but it was just a teensy bit watered down? For example, his shoulder armor didn't have spikes. He had less arm printing. He had less leg printing. Would you be okay with that or would you not? That's what, I, that's what we're trying to survey out here because me, I would probably still be grateful like, oh, that's awesome. We still got a mech because he would probably still have a unique head mold, unique mask and all that. I'd probably be like, okay, that's still cool but it would be frustrating seeing the potential of what it could have actually been. So I definitely understand where Daniel Lay was coming from. We know that for every set, the Lego have a specific kind of budget that they have to work within. The designers can either choose, oh, we're gonna have a part in a new color, or we're gonna have a new mold, or we're gonna have like a print instead of a sticker. So those are these difficult choices that they have to make. I would hope that for Lego Fortnite sets and minifigures that they would just put all of the effort into the figures. Kind of like what they should be doing with Marvel, right? We should have all the focus should be on making the superhero characters look as good as possible. Mm -hmm. But it's tricky, especially with something like Megalodon or other ones where you have multiple custom molded parts that you would need for a single fig. There could be other ones like uh, the Geometric, for instance. That's just like a Steve head just printed differently and rotated. That would be much easier to do than something like Triarch Knox, where it's like just the craziest new head mold ever. And that's what I was, when I was researching the, the Lego minifigures, I was looking and I was like looking for duplicates. There are a lot of characters like Geometric where they actually have a cube head. There's quite a few. There are quite a few uh, Cuddle Team Leader themed characters. There are quite a few Peely skins, you know, yeah. Slurp Peely or Skull Peely. Or, so they could reuse the same molds because I was looking at it. At like molds because you look at someone like major man cake that's a very very specific <laughs> um i was thinking i was wondering if they could do something like animal crossing it's going to be a lot easier in animal crossing where you have different animals they're all pretty much the same head in game just look different so they can reuse a lot of the same molds even across different animals like they're using the same mold for the squirrel as they are the bears and all that so it's going to be interesting and it may be a letdown when we don't get some of these outrageously crazy molded heads loomy jelly like it would it would be amazing and that's why we're getting excited yeah exactly and i think maybe part of the problem that we're gonna see is they might put some of their budget into making like one or two really crazy custom figures and then for the other figures they do like the more common skins like jonesy hayseed all the ones that you could just have like already existing minifig parts and just potentially change some of the prints. I think that's something that we are possibly likely to see, but I would hope that they would get some of the really iconic ones and some of the real premium looking ones. Otherwise, we have a, a bit of a missed opportunity. To that point, there are some quote unquote less zany figures that would still look really dope in, as Lego minifigures. I have up CRZ-8, for example, one of the eight ball head skins. And this is pieces we already have. We already have this hood piece. It's just really cool and unique printing. So that's also something exciting about Lego Fortnite. Not everything needs to have a crazy mold. We're just crossing our fingers that we can at least get some of these Lego Fortnite sets soon. Pictures, anything. Let's get them up and let's get them in Lego stores. And I will start buying them and we will start reviewing them immediately. So this will be your place <laughs> for all things Lego Fortnite. What Lego Fortnite skin would you like to see 
in physical form. Which one is your favorite? And Fortnite fans, stick around because we got a lot more Lego Fortnite content coming. As much as Daniel Leo doesn't want to, I'm gonna force him. What? <laughs> we like Fortnite. We <laughs> like Fortnite. Please leave a like on the video if you could. Only if you can, and click the subscribe button as well. And if you even want to support Daniel Leo and myself even further, you can go ahead and click the join button on desktop and become a member of the channel, get access to emotes, and become part of the soccer squadron, such as these lovely members. I'm Lidme, Dr. Dan PhD, Oliver J, the Ginger Lender, MC Goat, and the newest member on the channel, Richie Rage. If you made it this far in the video, you're a real one. Comment, Horatress.